Have you ever wondered how much money NASA gets from the federal government? Are there some people who are sure it's too much? Why are we spending money up there when we could be spending money down here? They see the James Webb Space Telescope. They may, might even admire the images, but they look at all the problems on Earth and say, we need to solve those problems first. Well, hard to argue against that. But I think of things a little differently. Imagine it's 30,000 years ago and we're all in a cave. And the youngins, they go to the cave door and they pry it open. They peeked out the cave door and they see mountains and valleys and plants and fruit. And they don't have words for this yet because they only just now discovered it through the open door and they want to go explore. So they go back to the cave elders and say, we'd like to explore what's beyond the cave door. And the elders have a caucus and they think about it and they look, they judge whether it's wise or foolish to engage in this kind of activity. And they return to the young ones and they say, no, we have cave problems that we need to solve first before you explore beyond the cave. The very construct of that scenario is absurd because you know the value of discovery beyond the cave door. So when I hear someone on earth on this speck of rock called earth say, we have earth problems, let's solve them first before we explore the rest of the universe, all I can think of is this conversation in the cave. But holding that aside, let's quantify some of these costs. If you look at the budget that NASA receives, that pays for everything that's NASA branded, our portion of the International Space Station, the rovers on Mars, the mission that went past Pluto, the mission to deflect an asteroid, DART, double asteroid redirect test, the all the missions, all the telescopes, continuing to pay for the Hubble telescope, all of this, add it all together, it comes to, in the forward budget, 2025, comes to 25 billion and change, 25 billion, so that's a lot of money. Well, is it, is it, in the big picture, is it? Well, let's look at the federal budget. How much money annually does the federal government spend? Last I checked, it's around seven, $7.3 trillion. Okay, all we have to do is take the ratio of 25 billion to seven trillion. And when you do that, you arrive at 0.35% of the federal budget. So here's a dollar, your tax dollar here in the good old USA. 0.35% is a little over a third of a penny on a tax dollar. So if this represents a hundred pennies, because it's a dollar, I'm gonna remove from it one third of one penny. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna cut 0.35% of the width of this dollar. There it goes. This is NASA. This is the rest of what the US government is spending money on. Are you really telling me, don't spend that on space? No, that's a waste of money. Fold this back in to the 99.65% of the federal budget to make everything better. Really? Really? Yes, money goes to curing cancer. It goes to trying to solve the homeless problem. It goes to all of those things. Yes, it does. NASA just happens to be really visible in everything it does. Think about that. If NASA received the budget people thought it was getting, it would have a way bigger budget than 0.35 of one cent out of a tax dollar. All I'm saying is, I don't think you have an argument to suggest that we're spending too much money on NASA because when I remove that too much money off the side of a dollar bill, 
you can't even tell the difference. NASA has been a bigger fraction of the federal budget in the past. In the 1960s, we were going to the moon. We had to beat the godless communists there, all right? The, our sworn Cold War enemy, the Russians, the Soviet Union. So yeah, the whole country was behind that, fulfilling President Kennedy's dream, an assassinated beloved president, all right? You know we're gonna make good on that promise to put a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth before the decade is out. I get that, but just consider in that decade, how hopeful we all were of the future. What mood it created within us. Yes, we had problems. Civil rights movement, a, a, a cold war, a hot war in Southeast Asia, campus unrest. Yeah, there was problems in the world. But you know what else we were doing? You didn't have to wait more than a week, maybe two weeks, before there was a cover story in Life magazine Earlier on, maybe Collier's Magazine, Time Magazine, I and mean, these are big magazines. People read these every week. There'd be a headline, the food of tomorrow, homes of tomorrow, transportation of tomorrow. There was a lot of tomorrow. We were going to the moon. The Apollo program was funded. That represented our future, our future of science, our future of technology, how we would live, work, and play as the exemplar free nation of this world. So as we get wealthier, we can keep the same budget for NASA and it would become a smaller and smaller fraction of the total. That's what happens when your federal budget goes up. If not everything goes up with it, it shows a lower fractional commitment that the government is allocating to that cause. So that happens too. And there's a little, little bit of both. All I'm saying is, how much is the universe worth to you?